he just pulled the nose hair out. That no, welcome to your thirties. <laughs> I'm quite proud of this one. Yeah, so keep her. <laughs> So, it's this time of year. It, it yeah. is. You got the hat. I. I you, you went all out and didn't tell me. I was going Christmas shopping, and, and I. This is what you bought. I walked past this and look, 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 look. look. Oh, because. Because uh, it's what Chrome says when it crashes, and I saw that and it's like that is my Christmas jumper. We've been jumper. sitting well, here for a while. Sure. You wearing that? Well, see, and I did not make the connection. I, well, that's what I saw on the shelf. But then when I walked to buy it, I, I was like, I would like this T-shirt. And the person who was saying, "Oh, it, it comes as a pair." And I was like, two t-shirts. And they went, no, they're pajamas. <laughs> and they're like, oh. And they are. And of course, I've got, got, the, it, got, I it. got the full set going on. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Which is not going to be visible for you know, any of but these episodes. You're wearing but... them for consistency's sake, because they do come as a pair. Do you realize um, so that the actual thing says off snap, not O oh snap, right? Oh, so it's not correct? It's not correct. You're technically incorrect. <sighs> The worst kind of correct. I'm so sad. Actually, I'm genuinely sad about this because <laughs> I thought it was right. Well, that's ruined. That's Christmas ruined. <laughs> Summer's ruined Christmas oh. yet again. <laughs> As every year. As is tradition. So last year, we talked about the features that were released in whatever the last year was, which was 27, 12, 18, 2018. 18, sure. Um, so we thought. We didn't have any better ideas, so we thought, let's do it again. Do it again. Yeah, let's do but it again. Shinier. But this time, with the features from 2019. Oh, oh, wait. I prepared 2018 again. Oh, that sucks for you. Mm. Um, but I, right. I, I'll but, improvise. But this is one of the things. Like, when, when we do like Google I.O. or like you know, big Google events, the, yeah. the, like the Android folks or the Cloud folks, the folks they come and like, talk about the new stuff they're about they, to release. They use the events to make announcements, to unveil their new things. Yes, whereas the web just releases stuff every couple of weeks, you know, or <laughs> yeah, like six much. weeks in Chrome's case. So we thought like this is our opportunity to celebrate some of the features. Uh, so we, we we're going to this is what we're going to what do. What better time to celebrate than Christmas? In, than Christmas time, we we've got sixteen features that we're going to go through in a series of four episodes, oh, and at the end we will bang for the buck. And the best thing is, we get to decide the winner. Because we ran a similar thing at Chrome Dev Summit. No, we did not agree. Disagreed with some of the choices. So, so we get to do this. So this is the canonical outcome. Yes. This, this, yeah. is, this is our opinion. Yeah. All right. So we're going to each pull a feature out of, it used to be a hat. Now it's just the line on the table. We've, really. we've got some pieces of paper on the we're table here. Grab one each in so, turn. So this is it. This is our first round. Yes, it's, first it's, round. All right. Um, go for it. Ow. I'm going right. to take this one. This one looks nice. What you got? Numeric separators. Brilliant. Excellent. Boom. OK. So we'll assign that to you. Um, do you want to go through the slides now before we pick the next one? Oh, interesting. Okay. Yes, I, I can absolutely do that. So you're going to, so this is this is a feature that was it landed in Chrome Stable in 2019. Yes, as all of these features. Yes. All right, and so numeric separators is actually one of my favorite features that landed. Right. Because Every one of us has been in a situation where we go through code and we see a number like this. Yes. And we're like, why? What is this? And why is it so big? What number is this even? And with numeric separators, you're now able to write the number more like this. And you can see at a glance that this is 10 septillion. And I think right, I this see. will fundamentally allow us to write better code. That's cool. So how how when you're doing calculations with this, how how does this how does this make a difference? What's the what's the impact of this in code? It makes it more readable. Right, yeah, but I mean, in terms of like how JavaScript's going to execute this, what's the difference? None. Right. So I can just put those underscores wherever I want? Yes. Can I put two underscores in a row? Good question. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought of that, so I don't. <laughs> OK. Or oh, actually, a bad question. Why would you? Why would you want to do that? I, well, My I... assumption actually is yes, you can. OK. I, I would assume you can. I'm not sure. I might be wrong on this. That's exciting. But nobody is forcing you to put it into groups of three. Because on hexadecimal, you want to do it in groups of two, usually. Oh, that's kind of nice. In octal, you shouldn't be doing it, because why would you be using octal? Yeah, 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 OK. Binary could actually make sense to put it in a group of eight or four. 
that's true. And we do have binary numbers in, in JavaScript now. So, right? yeah. um, OK, well, yeah. that's very good. That's very good. Um, so what is that going to go up against? I'm going to pick this one, uh, which is Intel stuff. Intel stuff. Intel stuff. There we good go. Good one. So now, cool. obviously, it is your turn to do them slides. Uh, yes, it is. OK, so here we go. So this is a, a few features combined into one. We're grouping them because they're all to do with internationalization. You've seen this stuff in. So the official API name is not Intel stuff. It's just no, it's many APIs. Stuff in Intel. And, and, and Intel? Intel there. So Intel. Internationalization. Interna yes, yes. Good. I mean, that should become obvious by the time I finish these slides. Oh. Um, <laughs> so we've got Intel relative time format, and mm -hmm. you give it you know, uh, like a, a country code there. Um, and then so you can format a number and say, this is going to be seconds. And it will tell you, look, put, put it like that. Or you can say, you know, minus 15 minutes, let's say 15 minutes ago. This is something that we see like libraries like Moment. Moment is like yeah, the canonical yeah. example that is quite big. Yes, exactly. And now it's in the browser. And you can do, yeah, there are different languages as well there. So, and that would be the entire point. Yeah, cool. Uh, another feature of internationalization, lists. Ah. So you can put two things in there. And it will say you know, that thing and the other thing. That's how you and two things in English. Yep. And there you go. For big fan of the Oxford comma. Oxford comma, also a big fan. Uh, but again, you can say uh, it's a disjunction rather than a rejunction. Conjunction. Conjunction, thank you. <laughs> I like a rejunction, though. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I knew it had junction in it. Um, and so it's, it's or rather than and. Uh, and uh, again, different language. Even speaks German. Amazing. Yeah. Even speaks German just like you. There you go. And so you, you can already, like, you know. I can relate. Relate to this, exactly. <laughs> um, any, I, any I can't speak German. Um, at school, they, the only bit I can remember is ich habe zwei Pony. Um, which is a lie. Which is a lie. So it's completely useless to me. Because you have two cats, not two ponies. Yeah, but I don't know what cat is. so. I'll teach you after. Excellent. Brilliant. Uh, <laughs> um, oh, there's even more. There's more. Look, number formatting. So here we're saying you know, a unit, uh, a, a, like a style, and we're saying, look, there you go, 2,000 okay. sec. I, I wouldn't actually write it like that, but fair enough. Um, and again, look at that, different languages. Everyone's Brilliant. happy. So this is like a three for one API. Yes, it is. And uh, we need to decide which one is the best. I mean, you know where I'm standing. Numeric separators <laughs> is core, especially you're, you're because. Fighting, you're really fighting for, I mean. Especially because it only really makes sense with big ends. Without big end, numbers can't really go that big anyway. So You can still go in the millions, right? Like, yeah, but do you need numeric separators? Yes, you do. And that's wow. why it should advance to the next round. I no, think, like, yeah, Intel. It's, it's, it's an absolute big hitter. Like, we don't have to load libraries for these tasks anymore. You get pretty much all the languages that Chrome provides, which is quite a bit, it turns out. Yeah. Um, and things like Moment.js, especially if you include multiple languages, they become really big yeah. libraries. I would say there's there's still work to do here. Like, it, yeah. there's no, as far as I know, I could be wrong, like, there's no way to give it a number and for it to split it as saying, like, For the last task, is... if you want to convert it to like a language, saying, like, these are 2,000 seconds, you might want to say instead six minutes and eight seconds, whatever it is. Yes, and the same with the, yeah, the, the relative date time. Oh, the relative as well. well. Yeah, of course. It's, it's, it's the same problem. But yeah, OK, so we're saying Intel stuff. Fine, fine. Numeric right. separates out. Well, that's that one. Done. Next round. So we have now Intel stuff has advanced to the next round. So now we need to find, and that's how brackets work, the opponent for Intel stuff, which yes. means we have to go to the next matchup. I will go with this, and I have. Match all. Match all. OK. Uh, a strong one there. Um, so over to you to, to tell us what that is and why. Match. This is how it used to work before. You can put in a regex, and then you will get the matches for it. Yeah. But now, with match all, you can actually get access to the capture groups that were in your regular expression. Because before, right. you just like, this is the string that matches your regular expression. But if you had parentheses in it, you usually wanted to grab these subgroups out and reuse them. I see. So with, with the plain dot match, you're not getting this bit here. Yeah. You're not getting this This regex will say, OK, I want a, word that start, a sentence that starts with hello and then followed by a word. And I want to know what that word is. Right. So but you would match have to, wouldn't give you that. So previously, you would have to use you know, regex, exec, or whatever. Yeah. 
to go in. But now you can just iterate over them. Exactly. Oh, and it's an iterator. It is an iterator. All right. I mean, All right. at least iterable. I actually don't know. It could just be an array, couldn't it? Good point. I think it's an iterator, you know? OK, I think it's an iterator. Fine, fine. All right. Excellent. And this is like, it's, it it's reminds me of the string replace, where it only replaces the first instance. What we really want is replace all. So this is the first step yes. in the right direction. Hopefully, replace will be addressed at some point. Yeah, replace well. all is coming as well. Good. It's just not, Good. not this year. So watch out next year. <laughs> in 2020, when it will That'll win. Be the winning feature. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. All right. Up against all right. match all. Up is... against match all is da, 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 da. my phone down for this. Class oh, fields. class fields. That there is not weak. Let's take a look at class fields. So you've written code like this before, uh, where you've got like this dot foo, whatever. And, and so in the constructor here, we're just setting it as a property. Um, it seems a shame to have to use. It a always weirded for that. me out that suddenly you just start using props that don't that you haven't declared. Like, yes, they just ex start existing. And in other languages, you, you wouldn't see it like this. You yeah. would see it declared somewhere else. Uh, well, lucky for you, this is now a thing. Great. Um, and it does exactly it the same thing. It is just syntactic sugar in the end, isn't it? Yes, it is. You, you know, I'm guessing using... this, this kind of assignment runs after the super constructor, but before your own constructor? Yes. Yeah, so there's a little bit of kind of magic, magic yeah. sort of stuff going on there. But yes, like uh, it will run, I believe. I, I think it actually might run at the end of the constructor. No, in between? There's a thing to look up. So we're really showing each other up in this episode. <laughs> Stuff we can't remember. It's either magic or not. That 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 are the two choices. Excellent. Yes. <laughs> um, so if, if you're using TypeScript, you're already doing stuff like this. Yeah, because right? it compiles or, down. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I think there's a Babel thing for this as well. But that's that's not all. Oh dear, Jake. It's, I've got else? another one, which is just a mixture of a load of features. Uh, you've done this before. Um, well, because we don't have private, let's just use conventions. Yes. Underscore is basically saying, Shh, don't touch this. But like, you really can. Like, so you can reassign it here. Yeah. And, like, uh, and then whatever. stuff breaks, and people file issues. And you're like, well, you used a private prop. And they're like, mm -hmm. Exactly. Well, what if? What if syntax highlighting completely breaks? Yeah, so this, this, this is so new <laughs> that the syntax highlighting stops working. And yet it has landed in Chrome in 2019. And it has landed in Chrome in 2019. So you're using this, this uh, hashtag counter uh, <laughs> syntax. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it means you can refer to it. You know, that's like actually that. a separate proposal. The private class fields, isn't it? Yes. But it is compatible with the class fields proposals, and that you can declare public and private class fields without yeah. having them inside the constructor. And they both landed uh, this year. And that means that you can only access these things within the scope of the the class declaration. Which is an ability that you couldn't really do. Within the JavaScript, like, that's a new JavaScript capability. You couldn't prevent access to properties on your yeah, object. Absolutely. Yeah, you would have to do sort of weird hacks and stuff. Yeah. Whereas this just makes it really simple. So as you can see, yeah, here. Also, uh, you when you say these... no, does that mean throw? Like it's just like as if you access an undefined property, or does it actively throw? Or I think trying to access a private property outside of a class context will throw. Don't hold ah. me to that. Uh, this. Um, so it's either going to throw or see these two identifiers as being different things. I think the identifiers might be seen as different things. I wouldn't be we asking can... if I knew the answer to Yeah, we'll, we'll put something in the comments that lets us <laughs> <that> clears <laughs> it up. Fact check Santa. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so and yeah, that 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 is you know this will work fine. It will because it's like the, the public part. Yeah. In fact, I, I guess that's sort of suggesting. Um, I think this will error. Uh, if not, it's. I mean, I know. Oh, oh! I tell you why this will error in yeah, this because case there's no because setter. there's a getter but no setter. Yeah. So yes, it it treats them as separate things. So yeah. this is this is. See, I figured it out. You still didn't tell me if accessing. Do, do I ignore that one. <laughs> uh, I figured this one out. <laughs> yes, you did. Well done, you. Uh, exactly. You write JavaScript. So, yes, th this will error because there's a getter and no setter. All right. uh, they are different identifiers, which is like it actually solves this problem as well of like having to have a different identifier of the get to the set. Like these are named the same. It all ties up nicely. Um, so yeah, once again, I get like two features in one. Um, I mean, in terms of how most of us write code, class fields is going to be more interesting. Uh, uh, yeah, it's going to be that, hasn't it? Yeah, it's going to be that. Um, so 
Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the regex thing's good. It's, it is fitting. There's a, there was a hole in JavaScript there uh, that we've now sorted. Um, but yes, we're through to the next round. It's me versus me. Which is always a good one. Uh, do you want to take? Should we do the slides again, just for lols? Because we've gotten better now. No. No. <laughs> OK. <laughs> um, OK, so we're going to decide who wins this. Yeah. It's, this is hard, because this is, for me, it's a DX versus UX feature almost. Like yep. the Intel stuff is a win for the user. Less code to load, arguably better language support to be determined. Yeah. While this is like the user doesn't care. So if you wanted to do the the private field thing today, you would have to use like weak maps to kind of have a mapping between the class and this or type, value. I mean, or, or closures, but then you're kind of creating. But that is just. Issues. But no, no user cares. Like, and you shouldn't use private class as a security feature, right? It's, no. It's supposed to catch mistakes of other developers. Yeah. Where something like yeah. TypeScript would be enough, or a convention might also be enough. You could just punt it to a linter. Oh, that's interesting. I like your point about things like TypeScript and linters. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And whereas Intel is going to make the bundle smaller because you don't have yeah. to include potentially include faster. Arguably a bit less flexible than user land libraries right now. I'm, I'm torn. I'm leaning towards Intel because it's an actual useful capability. While we've solved the private class fields problem or the class fields problem, but yeah. now it's part of the language, which is great. Like I'm not saying it's it's worthless. I'm just saying in terms of value, yeah, Intel adds point. more. So I, I think you're right. Like the class fields thing. Um, it, okay, if you're compiling that down, it is slightly more code. Fair, but only a little bit. Whereas yeah. like with moment that like you can have 300k or whatever, yeah. if you, if, especially if you include all the languages. I actually was going to say class fields, but you've convinced me. I Yeah. All right. That is that is lucky you've won this round. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> me versus me. It wasn't going to go badly. Um, but yeah. I, and so that is our first semi-finalist. Our first semi-finalist. It's a good point, I think, to cut to, the video. To chill. Take and, a breath. Uh, take a break. And uh, the next episode will be out soon. Join us. <laughs> join us. Please join us. <laughs> we need the views. <laughs> it's our job. Excellent. Should we do another? <laughs> no, that's it. That's going in. We can't edit this out. This is it now. Just all through the credits. The, there's going to be I the went... two overlay. You know, the, the thing to click on next is going to be here or here. This is the end. This is the end of the episode. The I episode went full end. news anchor. I'm going to keep talking until like, like you press stop. <laughs> <laughs>